Hey everyone, this is Tane, and I'm going to be showing you um, some of the features of the Inventory Tweaks mod for Minecraft. Um, if you don't know what that is, you probably shouldn't be watching this. It's basically a mod for Minecraft that automatically sorts your inventory and replaces stacks for you. Um, of course, you just need Minecraft and the mod. Um, to install the mod, you just open up your Minecraft folder. Um, if you don't know where that is, you just open up Minecraft, Mods and Texture Packs, Open Texture Pack folder, and then that'll get you to the Texture Packs, and just go back one, Minecraft, then open up Mods, and then put it right in there, Inventory Tweaks. Um, once you have that in, and you run the game once with it in, you'll get two text files, and those are the text files we need. Um, and they will be in your main Minecraft folder. They're going to be called Inventory Tweaks Tree and Inventory Tweaks Config. So, um, first of all, let me explain what the tree um, note file contains and does. So basically, it has a big list of a bunch of different items sorted into categories. So, like, at the beginning here, we have a big category called Stuff. And that's just everything that this list contains. Then, because it's tabbed over a little bit, Equipment falls inside of the category Stuff. Inside Equipment, we have Weapons. And inside Weapons, we have Swords, Arrows, Bows, Snowballs. And inside of Swords, we have Iron Swords, Diamond Swords, Stone Swords, Gold, and Wood. So... Basically, all this note file does is lets you organize things the way you want them organized, make your own categories, and use them how you want them. So, basically, sword becomes its own item, and these four swords fall into this larger item. So, for example, if I wanted to make a new one, just name it Test, then... I can make a new category called test, and right now it's empty, but it's in the weapons. So if I if I want to use the weapon category or tree, then test will be in there now, because it falls under that category. But I don't want just an empty category, so I'm going to space over here and add um, some more items. So if you know what you need to add an item is the item name and its number. So I don't have the item numbers on me, so I'm just going to go down here and grab some common ones. Let's see, so let me go back to test. So we'll have cobblestone in our test, um, sand, and then dirt. And make sure when you make these, um, you have to use spaces. If you use tab, it won't work right, and it'll just yeah, it just won't work right. So, make sure that you use the space button instead of tab. Um, okay, so we have cobblestone, sand, and dirt in our test. So now this is the extent of what we can do with this text box, but everything in here is used for the next text box. Um, make sure you save when you're done. And then we go to config. And this gives us a little grid of our inventory. So each of these little A1, A2 represents our inventory in columns and rows. So we go up here to settings, and this is what's ever applied to the game. So right now, it's default that the D row is locked. If we look down here, the D row is the row of inventory that we can actually access without opening our inventory. So basically what that says is, if we press R or we... Um, you know, sort our inventory, nothing in here will get changed because it's locked. Um, how the commands work is to select a individual cell, you just do the letter of the cell and then the number. So A1 would be just that one cell. If you want an entire row, you just put the name of the row, so that's all of A. And if you just want a column, you just put the column. And then you can also do squares. So if you do a1 to B2, that's 
this square, this square, this square, and this square. You just go from one corner to the opposite corner. Um, then what else you can do is you can have um, reverse sorting. If you press R, and it'll sort it right to left instead of left to right. And then if you press V, it'll sort up and down instead of left and right. Um, and I'm assuming RV will go down to up instead of up to down or something like that. So let's go just some random square. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's do C3. So this square. And then let's apply our tree to it. So now C3, whenever you sort, it'll only have things that fall under test in them. And then let's do another one. Let's do um, B1 to B2 um, pickaxe, I think is what it's called. Okay, so let's go test those out. So again, save. And then you can go back in your Minecraft game and go to single player. Go to whatever world you want. Whoa. Okay. Now, to reset, because right now it hasn't updated, you hold down the R button for a second. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Usually, if you hold down the R button for a second, it should work correctly. Um, it might be because I'm recording, I don't know. So I'm just going to close up Minecraft really quick, and then open it back up. And that should reset it for me. Um, <clears throat> okay, so enter game. But if you have the game open, then... You can hold R for one second, or middle click, or whatever you have it programmed to, and it will um, work for you. So now, you see our box A, B, C, 1, 2, 3 has cobblestone in it, and it automatically set to that, because cobblestone is in our category test. And then A, B... 1 and 2 both have pickaxes in them. And they're automatically set to that. So that's how you can customize your own trees for this mod and use them in-game for your own custom configurations. So hope that solved everyone's questions and you can all use this now. This has been Tane, um showing you guys how to use the inventory mod. It's a pretty good mod, so go download it.